Businesses that have been barely hanging on for a year hope the tide will turn soon. Now more than ever, they feel it's important that customers support local. The Night Team's Patty Santos talks to an entertainment store owner who says loan collection bills are right around the corner. Who's ready to play? This now that Texas is back open 100%, the owner of Amazing Play hopes the parties are back on. Our business model is dependent on families getting together to celebrate their child's birthday. Let me go ahead and check y'all's temperature. With temperature checks at the door and a masks optional policy, Sergio Cardona says something's got to change in the next couple of months for his children's entertainment business to stay open. Right now, what we're making um, is just enough to maybe pay half of the rent here. So you still got to factor in supplies, you got to factor in payroll, utilities. 80% of his revenue comes from private parties. Business overall was down nearly 70% in 2020, and he says the payments for loans that are getting him by are almost due. This is supposed to be one of the American dreams, you know, to be your own boss, have your own business. There's some stories that would, uh, you know, really bring you to tears. The Small Business Development Center helps small operators and startups with training and advice. They've seen the struggles owners have endured firsthand. One of the other things that we're seeing also is that it's still difficult to get funding. Funding which is required for some of these businesses to keep operating, to pivot, to refinance. He says the food and beverage industry has struggled the most, but those in the security and assisted living business are doing better. The hope is that the tide turns for everyone soon. I think going back to 100% will probably help some of the businesses in general, uh, but it's just that it's going to take some time for some of those customers to go back and be over the fear of going back and having the, the in-person experience. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The UTSA Small Business Center provides free advice and training to business owners in 11 counties in our area. The center has seen a lot of interest from those left unemployed in this pandemic seeking to start their own businesses. To find out more about those services, head to ksat.com.